America, the land of the free, the home of the brave, now a shattered reflection of its former glory. Cities, once symbols of progress, lay in ruins, scarred by violence and consumed by fear. The stars and stripes, once a beacon of hope, now fluttered like ghosts over a land drowning in chaos. The dream was dying, the promise of unity and prosperity had dissolved into a nightmare of suspicion and hatred. The American people, once bound by the ideals of liberty and justice, were now separated by an unbridgeable chasm of fear and resentment. Gone were the days of civil discourse and peaceful transitions of power. In their place stood a seething cauldron of anger fueled by political extremism and the venomous whispers of discontent. The nation was a powder keg primed for detonation and the fuse had already been lit. The motorcade roared through the heart of the city, a symbol of power navigating a nation on the brink. Inside the most divisive president in American history, Donald J. Trump, sat oblivious to the simmering hatred that was about to boil over. Then it happened. A deafening explosion ripped through the air, shaking the ground like an earthquake. The presidential limousine, a fortress on wheels, was instantly transformed into a twisted hunk of metal. Chaos erupted. Secret service agents swarmed, their movements a blur of urgency and desperation. But it was too late. The attack, meticulously planned and flawlessly executed, had sent shockwaves across the nation. The president had survived. Barely. But the attempt on his life became the catalyst for the storm that had been brewing for years. The fragile peace shattered, plunging America into an abyss of violence and despair. In the aftermath of the assassination attempt, a new terror took root. From the shadows of society, a group known only as Bloodbath emerged, it vowed, revenge for the failed assassination attempt. They were not political ideologues, not freedom fighters, but harbingers of chaos, driven by an insatiable thirst for power. Bloodbath was unlike any enemy America had ever faced. They were the future of warfare, genetically enhanced super soldiers, armed with technology that defied imagination. Their ranks swelled with those who thrived in chaos, those who sought to reshape the world in their image. They were the embodiment of America's worst fears, a terrifying reflection of its own capacity for violence and destruction. And they were just getting started. Bloodbath's power lay not just in its enhanced soldiers, but also in their arsenal of cutting-edge weaponry. They wielded bioengineered armor, grafted onto their bodies, providing impenetrable protection and superhuman strength. Their weapons, a terrifying fusion of biology and technology, unleashed unimaginable destruction. One of their most feared tools was the power glove. This device, seamlessly integrated with their nervous systems, could unleash devastating energy blasts, capable of leveling buildings with a single blow. Its self-healing properties, a testament to their mastery over biomaterials, made it virtually indestructible. With each passing day, Bloodbath tightened its grip on the nation, its technological superiority crushing all resistance. The very fabric of American society began to unravel, its threads of unity torn apart by fear and uncertainty. The assassination attempt and the rise of bloodbath ripped open the already existing fissures in American society. States long divided by ideology and mistrust fractured along political lines. Some clung desperately to the remnants of the federal government while others saw an opportunity to seize power. The South, with its deep-seated resentment towards the federal government, saw a chance to rewrite history. Militias, armed and emboldened, declared independence, forming their own sovereign nations. The West Coast, a bastion of liberalism, retreated into its own enclaves, desperately trying to hold on to the ideals of a bygone era. America, once united under a single banner, was no more. In its place stood a patchwork of fractured states, each vying for control, each suspicious of the other. The land of opportunity had become a battleground, a testament to the devastating power of division. As the nation fractured, a profound sense of despair settled over the hearts of its citizens. The freedoms they had taken for granted, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom itself, were eroded day by day, replaced by fear and paranoia. Families huddled together in their homes, terrified of the violence that raged outside. The lucky ones escaped to the countryside, seeking refuge in isolated communities, clinging to the hope of a better tomorrow. But hope was a flickering candle in the ever-growing darkness. The American spirit, once characterized by resilience and optimism, seemed to have vanished, replaced by a chilling sense of resignation. The land of dreams had become a land of broken promises, its people haunted by the ghosts of their lost liberty.